Bless the Lord, O my soul, indeed on this Testimony Tuesday. Hi, family and friends. Today I would like to encourage you with this testimony. To trust the Lord to turn around your relationships, whether it is amongst um, husband and wife, whether it is um, among siblings, whether it is among friends, whatever the case may be, to trust the Lord, he knows how to touch the heart of a man. Um, about two weeks ago, the Lord uh, ministered to me that I should be more submissive to my husband in a certain area. And so I went to him and I spoke to him and told him what the Lord had showed me. And I asked for his forgiveness. And so he said to me that... Um, he had been talking to the Lord about it and asking him, you know, to, to show me. And so I just want to say that, um, you know, sometimes it's just good to be still and know that he is God. You know, take your, take your issues to the Lord. Um, yes, um, communication is good and we should communi communicate things. But sometimes it's okay to just give it to the Lord and just trust the Lord and let him do it. He knows how to do it. He knows how to touch a man's heart. The heart of the king is in the Lord's hand. He knows how to turn it around in whichever way he desires. Amen. So um, so that tells you that my, my husband had never... Um, mention it to me he never complained he never treated me any different you know but he took it to the lord and god did it all by himself he touched my heart and revealed to me what my husband had been um, talking to him about so i want to say to you that if you have a relationship that is going through a difficult time god is able be encouraged just Put it in the Lord's hand and allow the Lord to work on you. And in the process of the Lord revealing it to me, what I had been doing that week was just seeking the Lord to change my heart, touch my heart, you know, to draw me closer to him. That's what I was doing. I was not seeking him about my husband, you know, any issue about my husband or anything like that. But I was just seeking him, you know, for him to search the deep places of my heart and he revealed this to me so um this is another thing when we are when we are trusting god to to change our relationships around another good thing to do is to focus on yourself seek the lord about you you know ask the lord to show you your heart show you your heart and um, he, re he will reveal to you because unless the Lord open your eyes to see what's in your heart, you, um, you are often deceived, you know. So, um, again, like I said, trust the Lord. He will do it. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, I know um, your situation may be different. Maybe it's, um, you, you are maybe saying, well, it's a lot more complicated um, my husband and I are separated, or um, this friend, we are no longer communicating with each other, um, my sibling, this is what is going on, you know, we are at odds with each other, whatever the case may be, it does not matter. Nothing is too difficult for God, nothing is too hard for Him. Amen? So this is what this testimony is about. It is to um, encourage you that God knows how to touch the heart of a man. Amen? So be encouraged and let the Lord do the work. Let him do it. Don't help him. Don't try to, to do it. Don't try to um, manipulate. Don't do it. Just let the Lord do it. Don't try to control let the Lord do it. He knows how to do it all by himself. You don't have to give any hints. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to help God. All you have to do is submit to him and he will do the work. He will do it. He will touch 
the heart of whoever it is that needs to be touched for his honor and for his glory. Amen. So, um, God bless you. And remember to continue loving Jesus by sharing your video testimony. And like I've said before, it does not have to be di directly related to this um, channel, Voice in the Ruins. Um, it can be something that you have experienced and no testimony is too small. Amen. Share your testimonies. When you learn to acknowledge God in the little things, guess what? You begin to recognize God and your faith, your faith increases your faith grows to where you are able to um, believe God for the bigger things. You know, sometimes we don't even acknowledge him in the little things. We don't look for him in the little things. We don't give him thanks for the little things. But then we are trying to believe for big things. Well, we need to learn to be thankful for the little things. We need to learn to look for him in the little things. Every day he's doing um things in our lives that we deserve to give him thanks and we deserve to give him praise for that we deserve um to um, make known his deeds among the people let people know what the lord is doing um that testimony to you may be small but it's a tool in the lord's hand amen so be encouraged god bless you and i love you bye bye